right, welcome and good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Go Wellness Practice Accelerator Challenges. This is your host of the evening, Kate Archibald, and I'm joined with my badass Go Wellness colleagues here. We're excited to dive into some really cool stuff. Before we do that, want to cover a few housekeeping items and announcements. Annie, what do we got coming up? Yeah, so session four, I can't believe we're already here. So session four is next week, which is nuts. So we'll be up at the beautiful Zermatt Resort in Midway, Utah. Such a magical little corner of the earth. We're so excited. So day one is going to be all about teamwork, implementation, you know, how to dial in the business practices of your practice. And then day two is going to be our super peptide party. I hope we're going to have a DJ. <laughs> You're looking at the DJ right now. <laughs> I know, I'm looking at dance at the party. Anyway, so we will be covering peptides, peptide stacks, their usage, dosage, well, you know, just about everything. We're going to have some peptides to share. So we're going to be juicing everyone at the party. It's going to be a good time. Um, anyway, so uh, live Sounds registration. Like my kind of party. I know, I know. If you're in the party and you better show up. Um, live registration ends tomorrow. So if you've not re registered already, please reach out immediately. Uh, virtual registration will be open until Monday next week. So let me know. Um, be there, be square. It's going to be awesome. And that's all I've got for today. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be fun. This is, uh, you know, it's um, a quarter mile from my house. So you guys don't want to miss it. It's, it's, it'll be a blast. Yeah. But, um, but today I wanted to just kind of weave in some of the things that will be going on, not, not just in session four, but also give you guys a little glimpse into um, the opportunities that exist in healthcare and what we're doing with peptides next year. Um, our Peptide Advantage course has been amazing and it's served so many people. Um, you know, I think we've had, uh, what, what do we have in the program, Kate? I think 125, 130 doctors who we've trained yeah. in the last three years. And, um, man, it's just been crazy. Uh, just seeing that thing take off has been so exciting. It's been really exciting to see the, the progress that, that these providers have made the lives that they're changing, I think that's the most exciting part about it is, you know, the, the providers and, and the, the clinic owners have been able to grow their clinic and grow their outreach with some really cool modalities that are changing people's lives. Yes, it's, um, it's crazy to see because, you know, we have, um, you know, seen breakthroughs with you know, not just within our own clinic, but, you know, all the other Go Wellness clinics with patients who have, you know, Lyme disease, mold exposure, patients who have, um, you know, not made progress on autoimmunity. They've had gut issues that are unresolved. And now, you know, if, if you look at the opportunities that peptides have given is what used to take our doctors, you know, three, four years uh, to get a minimal outcome, you know, maybe they could, you know, help a patient at least be functional and survive. Now within six, seven months, patients are thriving. And they, these are patients who've tried every single thing. And we see that over and over and over again, if you stack peptides in the right way, and then you're cleaning up the nutrition, you're handling the foundational work with the, the right testing. I mean, people are getting phenomenal results. Oh, it's just incredible. It's awesome to see, you know, our, our patients getting just crazy, crazy great outcomes. And then talking to our clients across the, the world, just seeing the same things. And I think the, the biggest challenge, you know, for as we move into the, the next year, I, I think it, it becomes a great opportunity for us all to say, OK, where, where do we want to go next in our in our practice? And so the Peptide Advantage course, we have it will be retiring. Um, you'll still have access to it. Don't worry. Um, for in the meantime, but we're going to be just upgrading the entire protocol. Um, this will be our Go Wellness, kind of our our main signature entry level uh, program. It's it's going to include uh, more of the details on you know actually delivering the peptides, how to stack it with herbs, nutrition, cell core. Um, so uh, we're going to have things that weren't in the Peptide Advantage course. Um, but the other thing you're going to get 
is um, really phenomenal case studies and insights, you know, before and after labs and how to run the right labs to stack the right peptides. And I think, um, you know, this, uh, our, our new generation uh, of peptides, uh, the other cool thing we're going to have is uh, a whole discussion around bioregulators because the bioregulator peptides are really exciting and they're, they're not talked about a whole bunch because there's not a lot of pharmacies that make those. And so right now I'm in communication with Dr. Kabasan's team. Uh, you know, he's, a you know, the kind of the, one of the godfathers of, of peptides and, and he's got, uh, there's bioregulators that, uh, you know, we'll be bringing in um, from Europe and, and utilizing those. So then for those of you who are, you know, maybe you're acupuncturists without uh, prescriptive abilities or, um, you know, even, uh, you know, certain uh, nutritionists in our programs, um, uh, chiropractors, you'll have an opportunity to use some very powerful peptides that don't require um, you to order them from a pharmacy, which is great because that handles the foundational. And then is, when you want to start working on additional pathways, then we'll have all the data in there for you as well and have some capabilities of showing you we'll have a whole module on how you can partner up and collaborate with prescribing physicians and um, so that you can get access to all the peptides but um, what change do you think that will make for our clients Kate who don't have that um, prescriptive capability uh, I, I think that's going to be a game changer because we do have you know a fair number of our clients um, you know they they don't have a collaborating physician or they don't um they, they don't have that prescriptive ability and i think that's that's a going to be a game changer for a lot of them i think even even uh you know, if you look at um getting peptides to certain states um those are you know we we can those are going to create some easier um uh, capabilities there in some of those states that it's it's very difficult to get peptides into as well yeah uh, yeah helpful. you're not referring to california are you i would never <laughs> say anything bad about california it's an easy easy state we had uh, one of our patients was in he's a he's a vet and i had the coolest conversation with him today uh, but he had to come in from california so we could establish him as a patient so we could get him on like you know other things i'm not going to say what we're putting him on because he's going to be a uh, part of the group but um, but what we did is we put together peptide stacks for pets today. And so he will be like one of the first vets ever to um, have peptides as like part of the whole protocol. And so we made a little bit of history today, which um, is kind of cool. That's really cool. I That's the first I've heard of that. And I know there's some like, especially with horses, um, and horse racing, there's some some really cool stuff that they'll do with peptides. That's that's really cool. I think, uh, yeah, that's like a whole nother market. You got you got my wheels turning, Reagan. That's exciting. Yeah. Um, no, I think it's I think it's super exciting, and I think um, what we're seeing right now and the the whole um, you know with anti aging medicine longevity, like there's so many cool things coming in. And you guys have the choice, you know, you can go to all the conferences and you can bring in so many different modalities. But um, what I've learned is, um, yeah, those those modalities can be really helpful. They can move the needle. Um, but a lot of them are kind of fly by night. They're really popular. They're in vogue um, for a little while and then it, it fizzles out. But peptides are going to be here to stay. And, and what we've seen is uh, even in pets, you know, as, as pets are getting more regenerative medicine, a pet owner will, um, you know, do what, whatever they need to, um, you know, stay, keep their, their pet alive for another, you know, years. That's, that's just uh, insane. What, what did Dr. Andrew say? He said, since we humans you use horse dewormer, why can't horses use human peptides? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a great question. Yeah, this is, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure this uh, doctor who's going to start using it on his uh, pet patients, um, the, uh, he'll he'll probably hear about it, you know, from some other vets. Like, what are you doing? But, yeah, oh, yeah. Because I was like, yeah, well, is there a place where you get them? He's like, no. And I'm like, okay, well, 
all right, you can just get them from our pharmacies or wherever. And so, so I think there's a whole world that's, that's just untapped. And then if, if I look at the progress, you know, our, our whole uh, peptide program, you know, the, the peptide advantage course is laid out so well. I mean, we, we've had, uh, you know, an enormous amount of compliments for how easy it is to follow. And if you go through the script, it's like, Hey, here's, here's how you think about these different conditions and so what we're going to come back around and do is, is uh, make it even easier to implement, uh, simpler to understand, still provide the, the science and the studies, and you'll, you'll still have access to, you know, generation one. But in generation two, uh, you know, I think the upgrades will, will be faster learning, which means faster implementation and faster execution for a medicine that's um, just at, at, at the forefront of what can be done. And, and as I started looking around, I said, okay, the, the first generation of the peptide course, you know, I leaned a lot on like Justin Kirkland, Ryan Smith, uh, Kent Holtorf, you know, still geniuses and, you know, we'll still bring their, their knowledge in. But um, this next iteration, I was like, man, what if uh, Dr. Kavasan's team would be willing to work with me? And I just like threw it out there. It was like a, I don't know, it was one morning, I woke up at like five in the morning and I was like, oh, I'm just going to email them and see if they're in their office. And and so I sent the email, got an instant response. And so um, I'm really excited about that. I'll have uh, some of their team on the podcast very soon. And and then uh, we'll start to see these bioregulators, which are very easy. Do you, do you know anything about bioregulators, Kate? I've just, I, I know I brought it up a couple of weeks ago in, in our, our pack. No, I, I really don't have much insight at all on it. Um, they're super cool because um, it's just like protomorphogen. So, you know, I used to be big into standard process and that's really where I got a lot of my functional medicine foundation is um, from their, their curriculum and courses. And they were you know, super helpful 20 years ago. But one of the things that Dr. Royal Lee did um, in, in standard process, and they still have their own farm in Wisconsin, but they use what are called protomorphogens. And these are glandular extracts or organ extracts, tissue extracts from animals. And, um, you know, so we'd have you use them. So if you have liver issues and you'd eat some, you know, some lyophilized liver and, you know, it's, it doesn't sound like, oh, that, well, that we do that all the time, but actually when you can mix them together where you have like the thyroid and obviously armor thyroid is, you know, that's really what, where you're driving a lot of the T3 and T4 from, but that's where these uh, peptide structures, the bioregulators, a lot of them come from excretions and expression, peptide expressions from different organs and glands. So, um, there's bioregulators for the ovaries, there's bioregulators for the prostate, there's bioregulators for uh, the cardiac tissue, for the brain, for any organ or tissue in the body. And there's a lot of really compelling research. There's one compelling research on uh, retinopathy. And, you know, they can see the difference in the health of the retina, the, you know, the visual outcomes from using these bioregulators for the eyes and, you know, standard process has oculotropin and uh, which was their uh, classic um, kind of bioregulator, but that protomorphogen, their glandular extract. And, and so um, now we're seeing with these bioregulators, that will be a, a big component. Um, the other thing about bioregulators is they tend to be fewer amino acid chains. And, and so the higher the amino acid chain, the more that the FDA is kind of nudges the, the regulations into a, uh, you know, like a biologic agent. And, and that's what happened like with Tessa Morellin. This is where uh, you'll see like, a, um, you know, cerebral lice. And these are things that, you know, the FDA is like, hey, it needs to be fewer than, you know, it was 50 amino acid chains, now it's 43. But the bioregulators are like just a few amino acid chains and they're just folded in just the right way where they create this massive impact where bioregulators can go on and turn on the the genetic expression for you know healthy genetic expression and turn off the disease as they go through so they just kind of like they zip up the gene and clean them up and and that's like ghk copper is one of them kpv epitalin these are three bioregulators that we're already using and so we're just going to bring in more and we'll stack those on top of that and, and we're going to see a big outcome 
Hey everybody, Reagan Archbald here. I hope you enjoyed the Go Wellness show and maybe learned a couple things you could apply to your practice. If you're a healthcare entrepreneur who wants to work in an academic think tank with like-minded humans who are just like you, looking to provide better service, better quality of care for your patients, reach us at info at and we're happy to do a free practice analysis for you.